cuatro equipos vamos a establecer tres áreas el área alfa, el área beta y el área gamma para poder identificar si existe armamento por el crimen organizado ¡Yo! This may look and feel like a war zone halfway around the world. Military tactics and heavy weaponry, just like that which is being used in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. But we are in fact only five minutes away from El Paso, Texas, in Juarez, Mexico, where the Mexican army has been deployed to battle drug cartels in what is widely considered the most dangerous city in the world. Even the special forces have come in, as you can see. The cartel is so heavily armed, the military needs everything they got to go up against these guys. Even with the army deployed to many of the major cities in Mexico, the violence has only intensified. At issue are drug smuggling corridors into the United States being viciously fought over by the Sinaloa and Juarez cartels. In the past four years, more than 47,000 people have been killed in Mexico. In Juarez alone, It's not uncommon to have more than a dozen execution-style killings in a single day, earning Juarez the infamous name Murder City. Juarez is the city most violent in the world, above countries like Colombia, Iraq, Afghanistan, that many of those countries are in war. I said, I work in a war zone. That's my job. To report this story, we enlisted the help of Miguel Macias, who runs a security firm that protects diplomats, factory supervisors, and journalists. With Miguel in a chase car, we rode along for the night with the Juarez CSI teams, the busiest in the world. Looks like it's a male and a female, and their bodies are just there lying in the street right now in front of us. It looks like execution style. The victims were shot at close range with AR-15 assault rifles while attempting to flee their cars during a targeted killing. It looks like the entire back seat is literally flooded with blood. As the CSI teams gather evidence. Most of them wear masks to hide their identities. Investigating crime in Juarez is dangerous business. Do you ever fear for your life? Yes. Every day when we go to the job, no, I always ask to get and we go back home. Es con lo que vivimos aquí en Juarez. At the morgue, the gunshot victims come in, one after another. The latest victim is a 35-year-old male shot over a dozen times with an assault rifle. He's just riddled with bullets all over both arms, his chest, and his legs. Just looks like he just got sprayed. In our first days in Mexico, we witnessed the unrelenting, brutal killings that have become a normal part of life here. But it wasn't until we saw the bodies stacked to the ceiling of the freezer in the morgue that the enormity of the violence terrorizing this country really sank in. You can see the bags are dripping with blood and there's body parts sticking out of them. There's just, they're overwhelmed. And these are all bodies that haven't even been identified. These are all John Doe's, all gunshots. 